it is quite impossible that you will not get in that we acquire language in one way in one way as a student of second language acquisition and communication i have gone through several language learning techniques and methods and i have also received a significant improvement in my own speaking so today i am going to share with you a very simple and effective technique of language learning and language speaking fluency so what is that technique the technique is shadowing i mean the shadowing technique so at first let's understand what is shadowing and then slowly step by step i'll discuss how exactly you can use this technique to improve your english speaking fluency so let's start let's understand shadowing first if you pick the word shadow if you pick the word shadow it means to copy to imitate to follow or the reflection of something that is what is called shadow okay that simply means in this technique when a learner listen to a good speaker of the target language in case if you don't know what is target language target language means the language that you are trying to speak the language that you are trying to learn okay that is a target language so when a learner listen to a good speaker of the target language and immediately tries to copy or imitate the speech of that particular speaker as closely or as accurately as possible i repeat suppose you are a learner you have chosen an audio you have chosen an audio and then you are trying to copy that particular audio you are trying to copy that particular audio copy in the sense imitate you are trying to imitate that particular audio with the speaker as closely as possible that is what called shadowing that means you are imitating with that particular speaker at the same time you are trying to match the speed you are trying to match the intonation you are trying to match the rhythm of the speaker okay that is the main concept of shadowing technique now let's understand what is the main objective of this particular technique if you see properly if you understand this technique the main objective of this particular technique is to develop the pronunciation the intonation the rhythm and the overall fluency of the learner so that the learner can develop the ability to understand and he can also use this language in real life situation so this is the main concept of shadowing technique now let's understand how you can use this technique to improve your english speaking fluency and the overall health of your speaking so let's understand step number 1 the step number 1 is very simple just you need to choose any audio that is your favorite audio that you like to listen to and while choosing that audio keep this thing in mind that the audio should not be very difficult to understand for you okay it should not be very difficult to understand it should be at your current level of understanding or a slightly beyond the level of your understanding okay it could be podcast it could be your favorite conversation it could be any type of speech that you like to listen to that you need to do in step 1 okay step number 2 be familiar with the content what do i mean by this it simply means you need to listen to that audio several times so that you can get very familiar with that particular audio the pronunciation the tone of voice the rhythm and the overall that particular audio okay and this step will help you to move forward very smoothly to the third step that is why you need to listen to that audio for several times normally from first to last okay and now the very important step that is step number 3 listen and repeat listen and repeat what you need to do is you need to listen to that audio or the video very carefully and immediately will try to repeat the speaker as closely as possible that means you have to imitate clear suppose i am speaking 
I am speaking, I want to go home after some days. You are saying, I want to go home after some days. This is how you need to repeat with the speaker. And keep this thing in mind that you don't need to worry about grammar and the vocabulary of this particular speaker. In this step, you will also try to match the speed, intonation and the rhythm and the pronunciation of that particular speaker. So that's how you will go towards step number four. Step number four, try to focus on pronunciation. Pay close attention to the sound and the rhythm of the language and try to improve your own pronunciation by repeating those words and phrases that you can hear from that particular speaker. And at the same time, you can also use your body language, facial expression and a little smile on your face to better express the meaning of the words that you want to convey. This is a short demonstration of shadowing technique, how exactly I practice and this is very effective for me and I like this way of shadowing. So let's start. First of all, I have chosen one audio that is video you can see. That is my own video because of copyright issue. So I have chosen my own video. That we acquire language. That we acquire language. In one way. In one way. And only one way. And only one way. When we understand the messages. When we understand the messages. When we understand what people tell us. When we understand what people tell us. I repeat. When we understand what people tell us. I repeat. When we understand what people tell us. When we understand what we read. When we understand what we read. We acquire language. We acquire language. This is how I practice normally. And this way, if you start initially, then slowly, slowly you can improve yourself. At the same time, you can also take two, three uh, sentences all together, and then you can pause and then you can repeat. That is how uh, normally shadowing works. And this helped me a lot to improve my own speaking. Now let's talk about step number five. Repeat this technique regularly on a regular basis. Keep this thing in mind that no matter how powerful technique you are using, if you use it for one day, you are not going to get the benefit. That is why you have to be regular on this technique. So practice this technique at least once in a day for 30 to one hour. If you can more, that is very nice, you can do more. But at least 30 minutes to one hour, you need to keep practicing this technique. If you really want to get the maximum benefit out of this, so that you can get enough exposure, your brain get enough exposure to develop the fluency that you really want to have in your speaking. So keep practicing, be regular on this technique. And gradually, you also try to increase the difficulty and the speed of the audio as your skill improve. And the last step, that is step number six, last but not least, very powerful. Keep your voice recorder on. You record the shadowing practice so that you can evaluate later and you can also identify the areas of your improvement. So record your shadowing practice and listen to it very carefully where you are making mistake, where you need to improve. So that way you will develop your fluency and overall speaking health. So this is the whole concept of shadowing technique. So if you apply this technique step by step, I'm pretty sure that you will get the benefit. It is quite impossible that you will not get improved. You will definitely get improved as long as you are trying to improve yourself. If you have this genuine interest in this language, in speaking, in developing this language, you will get the benefit. There is no option that the development will not happen. It will definitely happen. And I have experienced that this shadowing technique is very simple, at the same time, very powerful technique to develop the pronunciation, 
the fluency at the same time the overall speaking that i have experienced so start applying this technique to take your english speaking fluency to the next level i would like to end this video with my favorite quotation the quotation is something like the struggle the struggle you are in today is developing the strength you need for tomorrow i repeat the struggle you are in today is developing the strength you need for tomorrow so never give up